Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how you can create custom e-card in Adobe Photoshop CC. I will show you the easiest way, the faster way. So you can create your um, custom e-card for your mom even with your children. Uh, so I have opened my Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 and now I will create my new custom document. I will click on new and here you have multiple options. Um, you can create your document in any size you want to. Click OK and voila. Now I would like to apply color uh, to my background because it's Mother's Day, it's a happy day. I would like to use uh, bright colors for um, my project. I will use a light pink color and using a paint basket tool, I will apply color to my uh, background. Now I will switch to Restangle tool and I will create my first um, shape just like that. I would like to apply a color um, for my uh, f to my first um, shape. I would like to use um, another shade of um, pink color. I like this color. And also I would like to apply stroke. Um, I will use a white color and I will increase uh, size uh, for my stroke just like that. If you will ask me why I extended my um, shape uh, more than um, size of my document, just because I would like to um, apply stroke on top of uh, on top and bottom of my shape. So I don't want to have any stroke um, on this on the sides of my um, shape. Now I will use the same rectangle tool and I will create another shape just like that. And as you notice Photoshop remembers the last setting I apply um, with my uh, custom shape uh, so I don't need to apply any uh, extra steps if you if I will want to change anything sure I can but I noticed that I um, positioned my um, shape shapes uh, not correctly so I will uh, select my top layers my shapes layers I will move I will um, uh, switch to move tool and I will bring my shapes down just like that and voila now I will uh, select only my uh, top layer. Now what I would like to do, I would like to switch to a uh, custom shape tool and from uh, shape drop down menu I can use any sh custom shape I want to but because it's Mother's Day I would like to use a uh, flower for my design. I will use this flower and voila. And as you notice, Photoshop still remembers the last setting I used with my uh, shape tool. Um, what I would like to do, I would like to bring down a size of my stroke. I will just change size, bring size down just like that. And I will move my shape, shape on top of um, my uh, rectangle tool. I will zoom in on my document. And now I would like to create extra design element for my flower. I will use um, ellipse tool. I will create a simple um, uh, circle. Um, I will um, change a stroke color to no color. And now I will um, apply styles to my uh, new design element. Uh, we have many default styles we can use. Uh, we can choose from um, I will use probably yellow because it will um, bring a kind of um, a fresh a splash, color of splash to my design. And I will move this design element on top of my flower. Voila. Now I will select top um, uh, to my tops layers. It's a um, design element for my flowers and flower by itself. And I will duplicate those layers and I will move those uh, layers to another corner of my uh, rectangle. Just voila. Now I will select my top layer. Uh, what I will do right now, I will switch to horizontal type tool and I will uh, create a message for my mom. Happy 
Mother's Day. You can create any text you want to, but I would like to just like that. Day. It's up to you. Uh, I will change color for my text. I will use a white color. Oh, I'm sorry. I will use a white color just like that and using move tool I will bring uh, my uh, text down just like that. Believe or not we have created very beautiful custom e-card for um, our moms. Uh, we spent about five minutes and voila we started from uh, a simple uh, white background and we finish with um, beautiful custom e-card uh, using a bright uh, happy colors thank you guys and i will see you later bye